There we go. Awesome. Perfect. So let's go to let's go to custom audiences. Actually, did we install the pixel? I believe we did. Did we? Okay. So, yep. um, send me. Let me. I can test it on my end. Go to your Kartra, and then just hover over or click on those three dots on any any page. Yep. Click on that one, and then um, actually let's do the landing page. Let's do the landing page because that's that's the most important one right now. Get code or link, yep. and just copy that link and send it to me. So get the page link and then, and then copy that and just send it to me here in the chat. I can open up on my end and, and see if the pixel is on it. Uh, where did the chat go? Oh, there's a the chat. You see chat at the bottom? There we yeah, go. We found it there. Perfect. Okay, so let me open this up on my end. And I'll see if the pixel is on it. Perfect. The pixel's on it. Awesome, man. And let me show you what I see. Let me share my screen real quick. Let me know if you could see my screen. Um, not yet. Dude, this looks awesome, man. Great freaking job, Dave. Where is your screen? If you hit, I think if you hit stop share. I'm going to stop sharing mine. Yeah, if you stop share. Oh, now I can see you, or your screen anyway. <clears throat> yeah, it took a little bit of time to uh, go through there and play around Dude, with a few things. Great freaking job, man. Can you see my page? Yep. Okay. So I have this Facebook Pixel Helper. Yep. Is what it's called. It's a free plugin. Um, you can just Google it, Facebook Pixel Helper, and it just sits here at the top. So whenever I'm on a Uh oh. Did I lose sound? I might have lost sound. Where'd it go? Anybody there? What I was saying is this Facebook pixel. So I just I just have it installed just so I can, you know, test my own pages. Like I can care less yep. who's pixeling me. So I use it for my own testing. And so, yeah, right here, it just, it shows me, yeah, perfect. The pixel is installed. So good job on that. And the page looks phenomenal, man. Great freaking job on the damn page. Yeah, I thought I it turned it. out pretty, pretty good, I think. I love it, man. Here's what I would do. Here's what I would do for sure. I would take off this, these social media icons at the bottom. Yep. I would, I would only have those on the thank you page. Gotcha, gotcha. So as they opt in, then they can connect with me on social media. Makes sense. But not, not prior. Name, email, download now is the only thing I want you to do. Sweet. Yeah, I figured you probably had a few adjustments. Yeah, for sure. But other than that, man, phenomenal job. Phenomenal job. So, so I'm going to test it. So I'll, 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 I'll click the blue, the, the, the um, red button. So I click download now and then boom, I go to the thank you page. Thanks for downloading. Great job, man. Hey, it a worked. Video right there. Yeah, I gotta do that yet. I love it, man. I love it. So on this over here, the Facebook pixel, we got a page view. We got the pixel on it. Perfect. So now what we got to do is we got to set up a custom conversion and we need to set up um, custom audiences around these pages, which I don't think we've done yet. So, I don't let's, think so. Let, let's do that. Um, that way we can start that way. Whenever you do start running ads, everything is set up the right way. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I love it, man. And then, and if I click on this red button, what you want to do is yeah, tie that to your calendar. So we'll do that too. Cause right now it's not, it's not taking me to the calendar. Probably not. <laughs> but that, that's all you'll do is you'll just hover over it and then choose your Kartra calendar. So when I click on it, it goes, it goes straight to your calendar. Perfect, man. So go ahead and, go ahead and share your screen. Share screen, let's go share screen number two. There we go. Okay, perfect. Cool, so let's go to, why don't we fix that real quick? Go to your, go to your Kartra and then go to, um, Go open up your thank you page. So the thank you page, click on the three dots. Was, yeah, that one. Yeah. The server is down. 
Yeah, that's fine. Uh, hit on edit. <clears throat> and edit. Well, I must say the software was uh, fairly easy to uh, work with once you got the hang of it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so let's, and whenever I link a button to anything, I always have it open up in a, in a new tab, which I'll show you right now. So right here, and then again, did you change the title of the page? I didn't, I didn't bother to look at the tab, but click on settings in the top left. And let's just make sure that title, SEO parameters. Perfect, says thank you. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now let's X out of that and then scroll down and let's just hover over that button, the, the red right button, right. schedule an appointment or schedule an inspection. Yeah, hover over that, edit that. And let's go to link at the top. Link. And then we're going to yeah, link okay. to a Kartra calendar at the very, very bottom. All right, there, it is. there we go. Perfect. And I don't, I don't know. Did you set up your calendar yet? I don't think so. Okay. So that's, that has to be set up first then. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. We'll get to that later then. Yeah. Set up the calendar. Um, and then you'll see it there in the drop down, And that's what I was referring to open yeah. in a yeah. new tab. You'll always want to check that. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Open it in, in a new tab. So perfect. Okay, cool, man. That looks good. And then, and then maybe if anything, change your copyright to the bottom, just put 2020, put, yep. you know, your, your humble Name. home inspection. Yep. Yeah. That would go at the bottom. Um, and then, and then, and then again, at the very, very bottom, the footer that's on this page, the thank you page, that's where I would put my social media icons. Okay. So, so X out of this, the configuration X out of that score to the very bottom of the page. Go to the very bottom. Okay, so there's nothing at the bottom. So perfect. Okay. So let's click on components to the left. Yep. And let's look for footers. Is footers under footers? Footers. footers. Might be under. It might be under sections or. Yeah, I always get this part confused. It's either score to the very bottom. Keep going. Do we see footers? Okay, so it's under. It's under. Uh, um, sections sections there we go you'll see footers footers there we go perfect so let's grab one that 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 you like and then you can just you know decorate it this one perfect so click drag and drop let's and you'll see. you'll be able to drop, drop it right i don't think that's stuck let's try that again okay click and it'll say, you'll also see, it'll say drop. Oh, there it is. There we go. Drop here. Perfect. And so that's a section. That's a section that you'll be able to save. So mm -hmm. once you, once you fix up the icons and then, and yep. then, and then um, fix the copyright, like for example, that copyright that you see under the, under the red button, mm -hmm. get rid of that one. Cause now it'll sit in the footer down there. Yep. Yeah. So you can just X out of that. And then, so once you update the copyrights, and then once you update the privacy policy, the terms of use, mm -hmm. which I have, I have some generic uh, privacy policies in terms of use. I can easily transfer them to your file, to your account. Okay. And then you could just change out the name to your company name. And then you just link that. So for example, hover over privacy policy and click on edit. So just hover over it, click on the edit. I'll send you over those two pages. And then okay. all you're going to do is click on link at the top. And then you'll click on link to another Kartra page okay, and then you'll see it. You'll see it there. So okay. I'll send them over to you for sure. And then you'll just um, see it at the bottom. You'll click on that page and then boom, yep. link it to that. that and then you'll sweet. also open in a new tab. Mm -hmm. You'll do that for this as well. Okay. Gotcha, so, gotcha. so yeah, we'll, we'll do that for sure. I'll transfer over those, those today once we're done. But once you do that, once you, once you hook up the privacy policy and that's really all you need right now. I mean, I would, I would get rid of, so X out of the configuration, I would get rid of about us and I would get rid of, get rid of contact us and just leave privacy yeah. policy in terms of use because contact us. I want you to schedule an inspection. That's how you're going to contact me. Yep. And then about us, I mean, I guess you, you, maybe you can leave it if you want and mm -hmm. just link it to your website, but yep. really 
the, the, the powerful thing about, about direct response marketing is the fact that when you're running an ad, it's straight to the point. There's no information. Mm -hmm. There's no other information that I care to give you right now. Yep. Until you actually schedule a call or until you actually fill out the form, that's the only focus right now. It's not to direct you anywhere else. You know, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll show you everything else after the fact. You know, like that's why right here mm -hmm. with your social yep. media icons, now you can connect with me on Instagram. Now connect with my LinkedIn after the fact, after I've already got your name and email. You know, so here again, all the attention I really just wanted on that red, red button. Mm -hmm. So, so long story short, when you fix up that footer, the privacy policy, the terms of use, the copyright, all those social media icons, then what you can do is you can save it. So yep. you just scroll to the bottom and you'll see that red little button pop up to the right. You'll click on that and then you can just hit the heart and you'll be able to save, but don't save it yet. Wait till you change everything and then save the footer. And then you can just use that same footer for every page you create from this point on. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. So, um, and the way you'll find it, so you already hearted it and that's fine, but the way you'll find it is go ahead and click on sections to the left Yep. and then go down to footers and you'll see it right there at the top now. So if you click on footers, okay. actually, you know what? I'm so sorry. If you click on, um, go back, hit the, hit the, the back arrow. You'll actually see at the at the top if you scroll to the very top, it's under favorite um, my favorite blocks. That's where you'll gotcha. see it. So if you click okay. on that, it'll be right. It it would be right there if you yep. hearted it. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Go ahead and hard it. Go ahead and save it. Save it, and you'll see it right there. And then you can always delete right. it. Go ahead and hard it. Okay. Perfect. And then now it's saving it. And there it is there. So you see it right there. And you can yep. always, that's it, but I don't know why it's showing the error, the red, but that's fine. Yeah, it's um, the uh, can't up or server down or something like that right now. Yeah, that's fine though. It'll, it'll, it'll be up in no time. And it'll it doesn't, it doesn't affect out. anything anyway. So, mm -hmm. but um, you can always X out of it and delete it. So yep. yeah, just just s s update all that and then, and then you know, save it. Yep. So perfect. So that's that. So let's, let's get out of here. Let's save progress, publish live, and then return a dashboard. Exactly. You know what? You can just go straight to publish live. I did ask that on a Kartra call last week because mm -hmm. that's how I've always done it. I've done it three, yep. save progress, publish live, and then return to that dashboard. But shit, it's, it's three steps and it's like one too many. So I yep. asked them and they're like, no, you can just go straight to publish live and then return a dashboard. Gotcha. But that's it's even like, too. You know, it's that's, only a lot of click. That's not so bad. Yeah. Yeah. So here's what we'll do now. Now we have the three pages up. You can always decorate them and add anything you want to, to them later. But the most important part of this call is to now make sure that those links are set up under custom audiences. So let's set up, let's go to, let's go to open up a new tab and let's just go to ads manager and go to our custom audiences. Custom audiences. Perfect. So remember, we're gonna create custom audiences on, uh, around these web pages and then in the future, as you really start to run ads, and if you do any video ads specifically, you'll also create custom audiences around the videos. So just like we did that one, 30 seconds of home inspection greatness. So, so yeah. that's your first custom audience. Now what we'll do is we're going to create three more, and we're going to do it around these three pages. So right. create audience. Let's, let's hit the blue button to the left. And then... Um, Custom audience. Custom audience. And then we're going to go website. So that first time around for the 30 seconds, we did no. video. This yep. time we're going to go website. And so now let's go back to Kartra real quick and let's just grab one at a time. So we'll, um, let's do any one of them. Let's just, yeah, let's do the landing page. So click on the dots and then get the actual get code or link. Now for the custom audiences of a website, all you need to do is get the page link. All you want to do is copy everything after the forward slash. So you don't need the HTTPS semicolon, everything after the forward slash. So just start with the H. Perfect. Come on now. There you go. Awesome. So copy that and then let's bring it over. And that's what we're going to paste in. So we're going to go, we're going to hit the drop down. all website visitors. We're going to hit that drop down, and we're going to go specific people who, who visit specific pages. So that's the one. 
Okay, cool. So we're going to paste in that code right there or paste in the URL and we're going to change the 30, change that to 180. That's the max 180. So all Facebook's going to start doing is they're going to start tracking everyone who lands here within the last 180 days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what we're going to also do because we're, because this is very, very specific. So let's name the audience. And we're going to name it website visitors or landing page visitors or however the heck you want to, you want to word that landing page visitors. And let's put in parentheses only because there's two types of landing page. When you technically look at it, there's two types of landing page visitors. One person is the person that goes to your landing page, fills out the form and then goes to your thank you page. That's one person. The second person is the person who goes to your landing page and then leaves. Mm -hmm. That's going to be this audience. So these people here are only people who landed on the page, but have not filled out the form. So they, they only visited the page. So to make that happen is what we want to do is we want to click on exclude people right there below your cursor. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Exclude people. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the drop down all website visitors and we're going to go to specific. So let's do the same thing what we did at the top, but now, and then let's change the 30 to 180. What we're going to put in there is we're going to put the URL for the thank you page. So again, very specific. These are people who have only visited the landing page. They have yet to visit the thank you page. So let's go back to Kartra and let's grab the link for the thank you page. Everything after the HTTPS. Yep. And then we're gonna we're gonna paste that in right right over there on the ad manager side. Let's let's Ooh. hit the dots. There it goes. There we go. Get that. Perfect. Cool. So we copy that and then we'll paste that over. And that right there is as specific as it gets. So now as you continue, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and create audience, hit the blue button. As you go and continue to run ads, you're going to have a good amount. You can hit done, the, the blue button. You're going to have that audience continue to, to, to accumulate. So right now it's pending um, because not that much traffic has got to it just yet. But as you keep oh, running yeah. ads, that population is going to grow. The availability mm -hmm. size, it's going to grow. And so what's good to keep in mind is every ad that you run from this point on every single, well, not really from this point on, cause you haven't ran your first one, but once you run your first one from your second ad and on, you'll always retarget that audience mm -hmm. because that's always going to build for you. It's going to continue to build for you. And, and that's going to, and, and, and no matter what, every ad that you run, you're going to have X amount of people that land on the landing page, but do not fill out the form. Yep, yes. So you always well, want to get back in front of them with your next ad. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so that's the landing page visitors only. Now let's hit the blue button again, create audience. Now let's create an audience of those who actually fill out the form. So custom audience. And we're going to do the same thing with this. We'll go website and we'll change the 30 to 180. We'll go to specific. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go grab the, actually you already have it pasted. So just paste it in right there. That's the thank you page. Yep. Perfect. Thank you for downloading. Perfect. And then name the audience, name this one um, leads or name it download people who downloaded my, my inspection guide or inspection guide leads or name it something like that. Oops. That one right off. <clears throat> Perfect. People who downloaded. Perfect. Create audience. So now from it's really ad number two and on whenever you start capturing leads, this, whenever you do capture your first lead, let's say that's on ad number one. Okay, great. Now ad number two and on ad number two and on go ahead and hit done ad number two and on. You're going to always, when you run an ad, you're going to always exclude that audience. Yep, that makes sense. Right? Because there are folks who already downloaded your, 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 your inspection guide. They don't need to keep seeing your ads. Yep. You know, so, that, so, so that's, that's the audience right there. Now let's do one more. Let's create audience again. And let's change the 30 to 180. Let's go to specific, hit the drop down, hit specific. 
And now this audience is going to be, we're going to grab the link for your thank you for scheduling. So let's go to Karcher, grab that third page. Thank you for scheduling. Yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> so grab those. Awesome. Link. Oh, come on. No, don't do that. My mouse is starting to fail, I think. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I know what you mean. I've used this one quite a lot. It's starting to uh, not do the drag very well. Mm -hmm. Based. There we go. So this one, again, name it very specific. People who have scheduled an appointment or appointments or... People who schedule. Perfect. I spell, that's how you spell that. Yeah, yeah that's that. how. Yeah, you got it right. There we go. Right? No, I was wrong. Actually, you're right the first time. I think it was. Look there weird. we go. People who scheduled. Perfect. Create, Create audience. audience. And, and that, again, that would be another audience. Hit done. That would be another audience that you'll most likely always want to exclude as well. Because mm -hmm. if they've already scheduled an appointment with you, they don't need to keep seeing your ad. Yep. You know, so, so those right there, those are the most important audiences right there. Website visitors, your lead, people who land on the thank you page, and then also people who have scheduled an appointment. And then, and then also from this point on, any videos that you create in the future, any, 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 any videos that you actually run Facebook ads on, you'll want to come in here and create an audience of those viewers as well. And, and, and those, those audiences, those will also always be audiences that you'll retarget. So from ad number two and on, if, it, if you're doing video, ad number two and on, you're, you're retargeting those who watch the video. You're retargeting yeah. people who visited the page. You're excluding those who've already became leads. You're, re, you're excluding mm. those who've already scheduled an appointment. That makes sense. Makes sense. So this is, how, this is how you keep your ad costs down. This is how you, you effectively spend money um, mm -hmm. running ads. And, 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 and it's most importantly, it's how you segment your audience where you're talking to the right people at the right time and, 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 and people who have already, already, already um, gone through with the action don't need to keep seeing your stuff. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, it's, this right here is, a, is the most important, man. Like you want to get all this stuff done before you ever, you know, run your first ad. Yep. So that's the audiences. That. Now what we want to do real quick is we want to set up a custom conversion and a custom conversion Go ahead and click on the dots to the left, up in the top left. Actually, I think we can do it from, from here. Hit the plus sign. Hit that plus sign. Go to, actually, yeah, you can't do it from there. So go ahead and just click on the dots. Click on the dots, and then let's click on Events Manager. Events Manager. 